recording started. Uh, man, I am the pinnacle of efficiency today, let me tell you. Uh, it's pouring rain out. I normally go on a walk when I'm on my lunch break, but I can't because it is. So I figured, what better way to spend my lunch than uh, record a video? Now, it's not double dipping in the sense that I'm not getting paid to do this by work, so I'm doing this on my own free time. But anyway, I had a request from Wednesday's video. My apology for not having the uh, name of the person who uh, requested it up in front of me right now, so apologies. I'll make note of it in the comments. I haven't wrote the, the response back to the comment yet. Um, been busy today. Sorry. Um, they asked us to do it. Here I am. Game start. We are doing UK. Now, when I got this one, it said it was UK, the whole country. This one says cities. So I'm a little um, hesitant now. This is like the second time in a row a map I've done where I picked it and then they've gone ahead and uh, changed the uh, changed what it actually is when I go in to look at it. So. We'll see if uh, I can actually figure anything out here. Now, I've never been to this country. Um, I don't think I've actually ever flown over it either. Because uh, whenever I've come to this continent, it's only been to here and uh, there. I've gone to Austria and Istanbul, but that's on planes. And I think, um, depending on how the flight patterns go, I don't think I came over to the United Kingdom. Could have. I was not paying attention at the time. So, um, we'll see how badly I do at figuring out where we are here. I'd come visit this place. It's pretty low on the list. I mean, I did the genealogy thing, or the, not the one where they tell you whatever diseases you're probably going to get from your genetics just the other one that just tells you your ancestry maybe it was ancestry i spit in a tube and i gave it to him so now if i ever commit any crimes the federal government can just go ahead and request that information let's see city center the m1 so a61 and the m1 well here's the m1 it's a big goddamn road, from what I understand from the very little of uh, British roads I know of. Skipton, Bradford, Halifax, none of these things like pop out to me in any way. It's just British word salad. But anyway, after doing that spit in a cup thing, uh, came back as... I think it was like 98% British Isles and 2% French. So, like most uh, people, at least in New England, that's where probably the majority of at least all Caucasians are from. So now I'm just going to sit here and try to look for any of these numbers. Here's 61. So now i got to look for uh, Harrogate on the 61. Now, can I follow this road, which is another problem here? Uh, it seems to... Okay, there we go. We got Sheffield anywhere? No. So I'm just looking for a Harrow's Gate or a... Uh, Harrow's Gate or a Weathersby at this point. I feel like this is a small... I think we're in Sheffield, I'm going to say. Look for a Skipton, a Halifax. Is there a 62 floating around here? I don't see it. I'm probably like way off and like, no, idiot, 61 goes all the way through the country here. Falls like Japanese roads where like it may be listed one way and one in one place and one in the other. I don't know, but um, I'm probably going to be a little, oh, there's 61 there. Weathersby? There's Weathersby. So... Harold, oh, we're in Leeds then. I'm going to say we're in Leeds. Um, I might be a little scatterbrained. It's been a busy day at work, and this is my relaxation, I, think, I guess you can say, for... Oh, I did nail it. 
relaxation for when I'm actually going back into work shortly after this. Um, let's see. Anything I want to talk about? I almost feel like we're in the same place again. You and your drunk squiggly lines here in, in Britain. It's like, can, can you... What, is there a reason that they're squiggly here? I'm, I'm guessing it's probably like you can't pass here. And you can pass here. Because I want to say on Abbey Road, my only um, like reference point for uh, most British road systems, I believe, they had that when they were crossing the road. Smethwick, Cape Hill, Winston Green, Quinton Bearwood, Egg, Egg, Egg Bedston Theater. Uh, there's a thing from back in the early 90s that a lot of um, Japanese game development companies would do. If you ever saw the credits, what they did is they would give them fake English names and also if there's any sports teams, like sports games they try to do, and they would make fictitious uh, sports teams because they didn't want to pay the royalties to have to actually uh, use official play, like baseball players. They would just make up what they thought American words were. And I'd like to think that you could do the same thing with a lot of like British words. It's just kind of like a grab bag of either a pair or a trio of letters, and then you just stick them together and you get like uh, Brindley Place. Like I'm sure Brindley is a thing in place, and you just mush them together. It was just a grab bag of Britishism words here. Um, Lloyd's Bank. Like, why is there two L's in Lloyd's? It's a very old, old-timey. There is a sign here, so I'm going to see what this says. Let's see, Birmingham, I believe. We're in Birmingham here. I'm going to say, now, can I actually find Birmingham? Is it a big enough um, locations that it's not going to be... Um, shoved out of the way that another larger city won't um have it pop up here. So I'm gonna try to find Birmingham. I'm not seeing it off the top of the top of my dome here. The fuck's your Birmingham? Is it outside London? I don't think so. I'm sure I've seen Birmingham. So there's Birmingham. And you know what? I only had to scroll in once, so it did get bled out a little bit, but Pardon me. I'm going to say we're in Dudeston just because. Um, how's your week been? It's a, uh, a, the A45. I almost think we may not be in here, and it's just the list of roads. A34. There's a 34. I think this is big enough that I'm going to say that this is actually Birmingham. Yep, there we go. Leaving to get that. It's been a... Uh, Normal week, basically. Nothing else, really, too. Kidder, mister. Wolverhampton. Like, what are these words? I'm going to keep harping on that, because I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, the, the week continues. There's not much. I'm wondering what I'm going to do this weekend. I am Spearmint Rhino. You can try to make it all fancy and old English all you want, but that's a, a British strip club. Or a strip club in Britain. I think there's other Spearmint Rhyme notes throughout the entire world. I think I went to one when I was in L.A. for a bachelor party, I believe. A long time ago. Um, but yeah, this weekend. Oh, geez, I ran out of time. <laughs> kind of looking forward to uh, when this video actually goes out will be the um, actual official release of the remake of Final Fantasy VII that I'm going to be very much looking forward to playing whenever I actually get the chance. We'll uh, see. That's going to be a great time killer. I hear it's 50 to 60 friggin' hours. They really, uh, we're in Liverpool. Well, let's see if I can't, well, that was very easy to find. I think that's where the Beatles are from. I should know this stuff, but I'm not as much of a Beatles fanatic as many other people are. I listen to their songs. There was a time, tangents away here, when um, I would 
I don't know if I was unemployed so much or it was, I'm just going to click somewhere here and just kind of be that, be, be okay with being in here unless I like can nail a, a, a building I'm next to, but I think I'm going to be okay with this. Anyway, there was a time after college that I wasn't so much unemployed, underemployed maybe, but also I made enough, lived in a, it wasn't squalor, but it was an okay apartment. Um, and all I would do would, I would walk to work. It's a nice walk. It was a good workout. Uphill, downhill, both ways, mind you. Um, and when I wasn't doing that, I was just playing probably Final, Final Fantasy XI the entire time. Like I dumped a lot of time into that game. And one of the things I would do when I'm playing with it is I would have music playing in the background because, you know, the music's pretty great there, but you do get tired of hearing it after a while. So I would put it on mute, and I would have, like, five or six different CDs going at the time. And one of them was Sgt. Pepper's uh, Lonely Hearts Club Band. That that album I put, played quite a bit of. So while I probably could sing most of the long, words of any of the songs, I couldn't tell you the titles. Like, I can't tell you anything on that... Um on that album, except for Yellow Submarine. Wait, that's completely... <laughs> now the... Now I gotta check is... No, I'll do this at a different time. I'm gonna leave my ignorance to be at bear and to be judged for it. I think Yellow Submarine's on that one, but... Magical Mystery Tour, another song on there. I think that's what it's called. But... Eleanor Rigby? I think that one's on there. Or is that Lonely People? Again, terrible with names. Um, but yeah, that was one of the... How did I get to this? I don't know. But is there like anything to see here? The Spine. One of the world's healthiest buildings. Uh, it's a weird thing to call it. The Spine. What, what, what's makes, what, what is going to make it be healthy? Oh, it's like a health building i gotta scratch my eye man all right that was a full dead stop of just a really pointless rant on uh listening to one album and my inability to speak anything of british uh the beatles songs yeah final fantasy 7 coming out gonna be real happy about that gonna play that as much as i can other than that um I have to find some stuff to do with the girlfriend. And I do remember at the end of the last video where I was all set to talk about the uh, way we've been killing time. And that's by, uh, I'm just going to hit, go ahead and hit guess here because, yeah, is board games. And, you know, we've been playing Ticket to Ride quite a bit as to, uh, as to kill time, essentially. And we were looking for other things to play besides Ticket to Ride so we wouldn't get bored off of that. And what we ended up picking next, I think it was called Tiny Towns. And it's kind of a mix between, it's like a board game with Tetris. Or like you got little cards, and on the cards has little things. Okay, you got to build it. It's like in a square. Okay, there's certain resources you got to call. And you have to build it in a certain way. And you only have this tiny little thing. It's like a six by six square that you have to build all your buildings on. But you got to like set them up in a certain way. Be smart about it. And like different buildings next to different things or not next to different things will get you like bonus points. Pretty fun. But we're also trying to figure out other things to play as well. Now where's York? There's York. We might be in Leeds again. Wakefield City Center. Where's Wakefield? I'm going to put us in Leeds again here just because. So there's Wakefield. And we can get off the 621. There it is. To the M1. The A61 to Wakefield. So the 61, I feel it combines with something else here. Yeah, I think we're in Leeds again. It just happened that way. But also, we're going to be keep looking for some more uh, board games to play at the same time. But 
It's the problem of trying to figure out games that, you know, aren't superly overcomplicated, you know. Uh, I guess a good reference is a game like Scythe, where people will say that game's great. It probably is. It's just a little too much to uh, have to set up, grasp, understand. Uh, Ticket to Ride is kind of in the sweet spot there. Catan, we played that too. Um, something along those lines. So, you know, if you got board games yourself, be like, oh, this game's a lot of fun. Take a look at those. I mean, you don't have to say things like Candyland or Shoes for Ladders or Monopoly. You're very well aware of those things. Um, I can't find my Stratego board, which I have no idea where it went. But I really liked Stratego as a kid. That game is fun as hell. I think a lot of it just had to do with it was the only thing I had to play when I was at the uh, daycare I was at. But that game's great. Um, so yeah, any board games you got? I'll look at them. I mean, we're going to probably look at it. And if it passes like, the first little like judgment of it, and we're like, okay, this seems interesting, then we probably just end up watching a video of somebody trying to explain it. Then we're like, okay, it kind of makes sense. We'll take a look at it, and we'll go from there. Um, Speaking of other things to actually do to kill our time, like for a while I was trying to do a lot of Netflix stuff and then I kind of stopped. Like I actually still have not finished all of the entirety of Trailer Park Boys. I think I'm like a season left. I just stopped and I haven't picked it up since. But in the interim, over the weekend, I decided to actually watch all of Tiger King. And I, mean, I had heard of that guy before uh, one of the podcasts I listen to actually talks about like I'm not going to spoil anything or if you've seen it yourself you ought to understand but in case there's some people who haven't seen it I'll, I'll it's better to go in not under knowing anything about it so at least it's 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 great to watch but I'd heard of that guy before and decided Oh yeah, the, the the story that I heard, just like an anecdote of like crazy news, one of those things, they talked about it, and I figured I would give it a shot, and it, it's it's compelling television. Um, I mean, if you're the big mank, this thing looks good, I have no idea what it is, but it looks good, just because it's on a grill, a uh, neon sign. Um, I mean, if you're kind of the person who doesn't like Anything having to do with, like, exploitation of animals. Like, you get sad when you see animals in cages or treated uh, badly. You might not like it, but anybody who likes compelling human drama and very eccentric people, go ahead and uh, give that a look. Um, I had this thing where I had to find something like a not so much a redeemable character or someone I can root for but there were maybe like pity which might be just a little too insulting for anybody who's actually in that show but there was like two people in that show that I was like okay I do genuinely feel kind of bad for these people and I guess feel okay that I am that I feel bad for them which probably isn't fair to them either. Is this a steak shack? No, it's just called shack. I think I, just because it looks cool, I would try it. I'm sure it's like, oh, this place is awful. You don't want to go there. Can I find out what this is? I cannot. In front of the bus, maybe? No, we're on the 63. That doesn't help me. I have two minutes left. Very little time. My lunch is going to be ending shortly here. The corn exchange. I've seen that. It was on a. I think we're in London. Corn exchange, I believe, was on a another Netflix show we watched where people were investing in like they were. I've just totally lost whatever train of oh, Tiger King. Just go watch it if you want to. But I was totally uh, into this show where it's people have like. Uh, God damn it, what are they called? Like food trucks. And they're 
very, oh, this is Manchester, actually. Where's Manchester? I'll just say we're here. Is there a corn exchange? Can I see it here? <clears throat> but you had food trucks, and they were super popular, at least in England or places around, and then they would get a chance to actually sell their food at a, like a brick-and-mortar shop. And they all did it in the corn exchange. And I believe corn exchange is here. If not, I've boned it horribly, but I believe it's in this. Uh, in Manchester. Just because it says Manchester there, which doesn't really mean anything. Although that says the Manchester there again. So I think I've nailed it. I see. Anything interesting? Well, it just keeps saying Manchester, Manchester, Manchester. So I think I got it. I'm going to go ahead and guess now. Because 10 seconds left. Where's the corn exchange? Is it around here? Is this thing the corn exchange? Perhaps. Anyway, that's going to be a quick little look around. I got a pretty good score. I don't even remember how we much time flew by here but again thank you for the suggestion on the uh map if you like they did sorry that i don't have your name in front of me right now have a suggestion for a map you would like to have me do or it can be a theme or anything else go ahead and put them in the comments below i will read it and get back to you and if you do have any other thoughts comments questions concerns complaints suggestions tips hints tricks game suggestions otherwise Blog with any of your like, favorite, comments, subscribes. Put them in the, just, uh, the comments below too. I will read them and get back to you. Your weekend is here. If it is your weekend, congratulations. Go and enjoy it. I'm going to try to as well. And as I sit here and restack the stack of quarters on my desk, I'd like to hope you have a great weekend and be smart and safe. Come back again on Monday with hopefully a better, more focused round of... Uh, you guessing a state. So have a good one, folks. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.